easy to use DIY soil test, or maybe something a little more robust. Which one is easier for the average lawn care DIYer? What's going on everybody? Chuck here and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. In this video, we're gonna compare and contrast two different kinds of soil test methods to see which one is actually best. And this is best according to my opinion and according to just research that I have found online, seeing on uh, also here on YouTube and on various Facebook groups. And with this topic, I actually want to provide a counterpoint. And to help with that, I'm going to link to a video down below that Budget Lawns, Travis with Budget Lawns, just actually released this past weekend on why you maybe shouldn't do a soil test. And so I want to provide that good counter argument. So if you're on the fence about whether or not you should do a soil test, maybe between my video and his video, you can make that decision. The time is now to go ahead and do your soil test if you're gonna do one of a course. And recently on the Next DIY Lawn Channel, which I happen to collaborate with, I posted a video talking about why now more than ever it's important to do a soil test. And it mainly goes around the cost of fertilizer. Fertilizer prices are going up. So doing a soil test will help teach you what you do need to apply on your lawn and what you shouldn't apply to your lawn so you can make a more informed, wiser decisions with your fertilizer choices. So if you are going to be doing a soil test this year, or maybe you're on the fence and considering it, which kind of soil test should you use? Should you use something uh, that's maybe a little bit more DIY friendly from Yard Mastery? Yard Mastery actually sends out a full kit to your house. You can even buy one that has a soil probe included. I'm gonna link to those down below. They are affiliated. You can purchase from those. I do get a small commission if you do use those links. If you don't use those links and you go directly to Yard Mastery website, you can still buy it and I don't get the commission. It honestly doesn't matter to me. All this hatred and vitriol towards people and creators that use affiliated links, I don't quite understand. It's just a source of income and it's really up to you all, the viewers, if you wanna use them or not. So if you use them, great. If you don't, that's awesome too. The choice is up to you. Now, however, I will say with the soil test kit that comes with the soil probe, the soil probe is a little bit smaller and I don't, I didn't really like it all that much because this time of year when your soil is a little bit more malleable here in East Tennessee with clay soil, it's almost like a putty. Uh, it tends to, uh, it was really hard for me to get the core out of the probe uh, with my big fat fingers. So I ended up using a screwdriver a couple of times and eventually I just gave up altogether and use a mixture of a small hand trowel or hand shovel, excuse me, and my pro plugger. So whatever works for you, the key thing is you just wanna get three to four inches down into the soil because that's the, the area that you wanna actually collect your samples from. You can also go the more detail-oriented route by using a company like Spectrum Analytic. You may have to provide a larger sample size, but you also may get back a soil test report with a little bit more information on it. You can also go with your local county extension office and the test is fairly similar. There's a little bit of a difference. And technically speaking, if you do go with the local county extension office, that's probably a really good safe bet because no one is going to know the ground and the soil and everything like that in your local area than your county extension office. So that's also a very viable route to go. So for the purposes of this test, I'm going to be using the Yard Mastery DIY soil test kit along with sending samples to Spectrum Analytic. Both are easily available to us DIY homeown lawn care folks and they seem to be the most commonly used in the lawn care community. Now I'm just going by off my own, what I've seen on YouTube and on the Facebook forum, Facebook, uh, Facebook groups and stuff like that. So there are other methods out there, but those are the seem to be the two that get used the most. The key thing to collecting a soil sample is you wanna get as large of a sample as possible. Don't skimp, don't be lazy, because basically what you're doing is you're grabbing, grabbing an average of whatever area you are testing. So if you only test, pull samples from a couple little areas and put it into whichever soil test you decide to go with, that's the sample that you're gonna end up testing from. So if you grab samples from all over your yard or wherever you are testing from, like here at my house, I'm doing the front yard 
is getting its own test. The backyard's getting its own test. So I grabbed at least cores or samples from 15 plus areas across my lawn. And that's gonna give me a nice robust test to get a good overall gauge to what my soil is looking like. The other thing is you wanna, like I said earlier, you wanna go three to four inches down in the soil. So however you plan on collecting your soil samples, whether it's with a soil probe, a pro plugger, using a shovel, whatever the case may be, just make sure you're getting three to four inches down in the soil because that is where everything wants to test. Because technically speaking, your root should be at least going four inches down into the soil to grab all those nutrients. So Yard Mastery makes collecting the soil test very easy. You just go ahead, pull your cores, remove all the organic matter out of the sample, use a scoop, level it off, and then put it into the container with solution. Don't spill a container at all. Don't empty it. Keep it all together. Put the cap back on, put it in an envelope, ship it, send it, mail it, and then you just need to wait. Spectrum analytic isn't a difficult process at all. You just need to do a little bit more legwork. I'm gonna to link to the form down in the description box below that you need to fill out because it was a little bit harder for me to find just going through the website. So I'm gonna to link to that form down below so it, you can go ahead and easily print it off for your own purposes. Now, once you find that form, you need to fill it out. It's actually fairly self-explanatory. There are codes that you need to use to tell them what kind of test you wanna do and all those codes and the descriptions are down on the bottom of the form. You have to tell them what kind of grass type you have using the codes at the bottom of the form and for this test i'm going to be going with the t3 which is their total comprehensive test it tells you everything that you need to know now for the spectrum analytic you do need to provide your own uh, bag your own way to ship it so i am using a ziploc bag and you need to make sure that the description on the bag matches the description or the name on the form so for these purposes i'm calling my front yard dad fy backyard is dad BY, so I'm putting that on the form and on the Ziploc bag. Unfortunately, unlike the Yard Mastery Kit, you do need to provide your own postage. So I went to the post office and I used the priority mail and then shipping the sample size that I did, it was like 12 bucks to ship it. I think it was like one to three days priority or something like that. So that is a downside compared to Yard Mastery, which comes with a prepaid envelope, but you're making that up because you're not having to pay for the soil test up front. Now, as far as the first part of the soil test goes, I'm going to give the point to Yard Mastery or similar uh, soil tests that you can purchase online because, like I said, it comes with everything you need to collect your soil sample, including a soil probe if you decide to go uh, with that option. It has, like I said, the soil probe. It has the prepaid postage envelope, which is a pretty nice thing. It has the, the solution that you can, the little jar with a solution in it that you put your soil sample in. It has everything you need to collect that soil sample and get it shipped off to the tester. Now, as I said earlier, it also comes at a cost because you do have to pay up front to do that. So sometimes, like everything else in life, you pay for convenience purposes. So because it's a convenience to get all these things shipped to you, you do have to pay up front to get it. For the overall collection part of the soil test, the point goes to Yard Mastery. So that is it for part one of this two-part series. I debated whether or not to just do one long video or separate them like I'm doing. Um, the purpose is mainly is just for the sake of time of the video. I don't want to have a 20 minute long video going over everything. So part two will be the reveal of the results that I get from these two and coming up with the clear winner of which one I think is better for the DIY lawn care community. I may go live with the results and just do sort of an interaction with you all on the results, get your feedback, what you think I should do based on my results, or I may just end up doing another video like this. I haven't quite decided yet on which route I'm gonna go. So that is it for this video. Like I said, this is gonna be a two-parter, whether or not I do the second part live or record another video once I get my test in, I haven't decided there. but. I hope you all enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't done so already because all that stuff makes a really big difference to the channel. And yeah, so I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.